So a term that is often thrown around right now in the manosphere, in the dating sphere, in the dating culture, on these YouTube videos from other creators is the term red pill. You see, there are three categories that a lot of these YouTubers classify your mentality when it comes to dating and relationships. There's the blue pill, there's the red pill, and then there's the black pill. Basically, the red pill is when you're seeing women for what they really are, their true nature, you're accepting it as it is with all its flaws and all its cold-hearted state. That's what they claim. The blue pill is basically the complete opposite of that. He's living in a fairy tale. He believes that just being a nice guy is gonna get the right woman. And if you're just so nice and you're a pushover, you're gonna get the right woman and then you're gonna live happily ever after. And then the purple pill is basically a combination of red and blue. But you see, man, I personally, to be honest, do not agree with this whole notion of categorizing your mentality into pills that are from the movie The Matrix. It's like The Matrix references. It's kind of cringeworthy if you ask me. I totally understand all of them, but a lot of these preachers who are red pill and who are preaching this idea, because they're influencers and they do have a lot of credibility and they do make a lot of points, I don't necessarily agree with a lot of what they're saying because what they're teaching these young men who are learning from their videos, they're teaching them that women are so cold hearted, women are this, women are that. And then those men who are watching those videos tend to internalize those beliefs. And then they believe that everything is wrong with them. Everything is wrong with them. If I'm not attractive enough, I'm not successful enough, I'm, I don't make enough money. And then when you carry yourself with that mentality, you end up going into any interaction with any woman with that bad mentality. You're polluted, your mind is polluted. You're going to be biased, obviously, towards the man, which is yourself. And you are going to interact with that woman from a place of fear, not a place of belief. How can you be resourceful in such a state? You can't. Why? Because you're immediately thinking of this woman as your enemy. Or you're thinking about her as something that's above you. Women are so hypergamous and all they want is a man of the best status ever, the best looks ever, the best money ever. While women are hypergamous by nature, that is true and there's no shame for them being that way and there's nothing wrong with that. That doesn't mean they're bad. Hypergamous means they have a inherent desire to want to mate with the man who is more successful. Why? Because that means that he could provide and be a good provider for the future offspring. Biologically speaking, there's nothing wrong with that. Now, this doesn't mean that the richer the man gets, the more that she's just going to like only the richer guy just for the sake of it. No, that's not what it means. But when you take this whole notion from the red pill perspective, you're gonna start seeing things different. Your eyes are going to be colored. Your mind is gonna be colored and polluted against women and you're gonna start seeing them as the enemy. God did not intend that for us, bro. I find it hard to believe that God intended that for us and for us to see each other as enemies. Oh, she's the enemy and then she says, oh, he's the enemy. All they do is cheat, all men are pigs. If both of us carry ourselves that way, we're not gonna go anywhere. We're not gonna get anywhere. We're not gonna progress in society. Instead, you're gonna have women like they are right now like a lot of them are, this whole strong independent women's movement, boss babes, women with too much masculine energy, I don't need no man, what does that do for the future? What does that do for their daughters and sons? Their daughters end up having this attitude of hatred against men and the men have this attitude of hatred against women because he's been rejected by so many goddamn women. You see man, it's not supposed to be like that. I personally believe in the fundamentals, the basics, the basics of the structure. You can't have a solid structure if you don't know the basics. The way you think about this is knowing things and seeing things for what they really are. Women are hypergamous? Sure. That means that you should work on your best to become the best man that you could be anyways. And even if it wasn't for women, you'd want to do this for yourself. You'd want to be more successful. You'd want to be in better shape. You'd want to look better. So you could produce good things in the world and teach other people good things. Network with the right people. That's the type of man who will be seen as a quote unquote alpha man or a high value man. A man who could push society forward. That's how you should think about it. Stop Stop thinking about things in terms of red pill this, blue pill that, black pill this. Oh my God, I'm on a date with a woman. Which pill should I swallow? There's three pills. I don't know which ones to swallow. I get confused between the black, red, and the blue. No, don't think about this. Just think about having a genuine good conversation, good interaction to try to push yourself forward as a man and challenge yourself and make yourself better. You naturally want to attract a high quality woman, a woman that you're attracted to. You are put on this planet for a reason. One of the reasons is that you can procreate. You know what I mean? Plant your seed for the future generations to come to push society forward. I think it also comes down to having a degree of humility and understanding that the creator created men for women and created women for men. I don't believe he's done this to make things difficult 
on us and to make it such a hard thing to attract a member of the opposite sex and to view them as an enemy, do you really think that? Think about this logically. The creator, do you think he thought about this? No. He didn't try to plant in your mind, red pill this, red pill that, blue pill this, blue pill that. He wanted you to be successful. He wants you by nature to be able to attract the type of woman you want so you can procreate and move humanity forward. And he wants you to live and conduct yourself in a spirit of belief, not a spirit of fear, a spirit of strength, a spirit of discipline, a spirit of hard work. Those are the main things that a man should focus on. But instead, when he starts polluting himself with the wrong notions, a lot of these creators, I'm not saying that they have bad intentions, but what I'm saying is it could come off to the viewer, especially if they're young and not experienced, that that's the right way to live, that they should just reject all these women and be a total douchebag to them. And then, then they're gonna be attracted to them. Oh yeah, women like assholes, right? Women like douchebags, so let's just be assholes and let resent them for their nature because all they care about is a man who is more successful and more attractive, and I'm clearly none of that. That kind of attitude, bro, is not gonna take you anywhere. And I understand if some or or a lot of these creators have been cheated on in the past by other women, but that doesn't mean that every single woman is like this. Oh, if you lose your job, she's gonna cheat on you. Oh, uh, if you show any sign of weakness, she's gonna go to your best friend and have sex with him. First of all, that doesn't really happen more times than not. Second of all, if she does that with your best friend, quote unquote best friend, is he really your best friend? And is she really a high quality woman that you wanna spend the rest of your life with and procreate with to move society forward? Hell no. You shouldn't be thinking about things like this, man. Have a spirit of belief, have a spirit of positivity and go out and filter the right ones from the wrong ones. Am I saying there's no wrong ones? Absolutely, they're wrong ones. They're wrong men too, to be fair. But what you should do is have some degree of wisdom to be able to filter out the right ones from the wrong ones and learn from people's experiences like myself or like other creators that you feel comfortable with. If you're not comfortable learning about my experiences, that's totally fine. You don't have to listen to my videos or watch my videos. You could watch another creator's videos. You could get other types of coaching, you know what I mean? So what I'm trying to plant in your mind, bro, is the fact that the red pill can have very detrimental effects on you and your future. So you gotta be really careful, understand things for what they really are, look at the structure more importantly than just the results or the superficial level of things that you can see and focus more so on how you can propel society forward by your gifts, by knowing your fundamentals, by knowing how to be confident, by knowing how to be a better quality man for yourself and for your future. So that also, as a byproduct, you could attract the right woman to you. That's how you should think about it, man. Think about it like that instead of having this twisted notion with no degree of humility, because I believe you need a degree of humility to recognize this, that all women are this, all women are that. Instead, have this belief, a healthy belief, and you'll be able to propel yourself and society forward, and that's the type of position that you want to be in.